Hey folks, welcome to Software Testing Hacks. This is a very new series on automation testing and going further we will also learn automation testing tool like Selenium. Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So, let's talk about what is automation testing and why automation testing is needed. So, it is very basic uh, thing that you need to understand because once you understand why it is needed then when you write the script it will become more powerful okay so the very first thing is automated testing refers to any approach that makes it possible to run your tests without human intervention right so automation testing with the help of a tool you know, you can automate the test cases and without any human intervention, you can execute the test cases, which will save a lot of time. Traditional testing has been done manually. A human follows a set of steps to check whether things have been working or behaving as expected. Okay. Manually, when we do it, we will have to manually go and then check whether uh, the application is working properly or not, right? By contrast, an automated test is created once and then can run any time you need it, okay? Whenever you need, you know, any specific test to be run, you do not have to manually go and run it, okay? Or whenever you have a lot of thousands of test cases, some of the big applications may have like 1,000, 2,000 test cases as well. In that case, it saves a lot of your time and then the effort, okay? Manually, uh, sometimes it is difficult to uh, provide the accuracy to, okay? Sometimes human error can happen, okay? So now let's talk about some of the difference between manual testing and then automated testing. What happens is uh, with respect to manual testing, it is slow and it requires manual effort and execution of the test cases, right? So with manual testing, it is time consuming, okay? Faster and it allows for simultaneous execution of the test cases using automation tools with the help of automation tools we can execute the tests you know parallelly reliability coming to the reliability more prone to human error but automated testing is less prone to human error as the test cases are executed using automation tools and can be repeated consistently all right so, you have to think that when manually we are testing, there are chances of we, uh, you know, fail to execute a certain case for it. So, with respect to manual testing, I mean, if you are a manual tester, you will know the real pain, right? Sometimes there are chances of we may miss a specific case for it. Maintenance requires more effort to maintain large suit. Okay. Sometimes, as I mentioned, there could be thousands and thousands of test cases. At that time, the maintenance and then the execution time is also uh, gets increased. It requires more effort to set up initially, but minimal effort to maintain once automation scripts are created. Okay, when we have all the scripts ready, you can just go ahead and then click, you know click on a button so which will take care of the rest execution correct but initial setup is a bit uh, technical okay and then it is it requires little effort more effort in properly setting up all the automation tools and then the framework everything but the reusability here tests can be reused but require manual execution limiting the scalability However, with respect to the automated tests, tests can be reused multiple times with minimal effort, right? So, you do not have to again and again sit and then rewrite the script, right? It enables more comprehensive and then scalable testing. Scope. Limited in scope requires manual effort and time making full test coverage difficult, right? So, here uh, with respect to the scope, the scope is very limited because it is time consuming and then the effort that we have to put is more. So, 
uh, it 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 becomes sometimes difficult to have complete coverage sometimes you know uh, while we manually execute the requirement suppose say the client asks you you know to release a particular item within next day within one day at that time if you have thousands of regression tests right thousands of regression tests how it will how much time it will take you to execute it right here the effort required is more so low number of testers also will increase so there should be like no, uh, more number of testers is required right to cover the uh, thousands of tests but when it have it written in the automation can cover wider scope including regression testing making full test coverage easier so at that time you know you can just execute and then you can even close your system so that way it will save your tons of time cost lower upfront cost but maybe more expensive over time due to increased labor right we also discussed about the cost so higher upfront cost due to the specialized tools but more cost effective over time due to the efficiency gains right sometimes a uh, certain project will have lot of script okay at that time uh, it is good to go for this automation tools if the project is small and then again and again if we do not have to execute uh, the set of test cases again and again then it in that case that is okay but when you have a long term project it is always good to uh, opt for an automation tool and then uh, automate the test cases okay but initially you might have to spend some money for the tool as well okay some of the tools could be paid tools some of them are open source correct right? skill set it requires manual testing skills understanding of application and issue reporting requires automation skills programming knowledge and the ability to write or maintain automated test scripts okay the uh, skill that varies is in manual testing understanding of the application is important right uh, whereas with the automation testing programming knowledge is required and then uh, understanding of the application is also very much important here okay so all the perspective manual testing over automation testing comparison is this so so coming to the conclusion with respect to manual testing it is more effort and then um, it consumes lot of time but whereas automated testing it is faster and then it consumes very less time because it runs the tests parallelly why should we use automation testing so why it is required to use automation testing then so with the help of automation testing it improves the scale correct it improves the scale because once you uh, write the script you can execute it multiple times whenever you need it okay and then speed of delivery so in uh, i gave an example of if the client requires that i you know a feature to be released to the very next day so here at that time if you sit and then manually execute the test cases it takes lot of time but however in case of automation testing you can just run the automation scripts and then that will give you a, a detailed report correct so it increases the speed of delivery so that you can uh, assure that yeah because automation testing tools are more accurate and then less prone to error correct so that's the reason you can assure that you are providing a almost bug free product to the customer not might be not re with respect to the new feature but at least the existing features would not be broken and then streamlined releases uh, whenever you get new build all right you will go and then manually do the smoke testing but in case if you have ci cd setup you can integrate it with the pipeline and then all the smoke tests can run immediately once the uh, changes are been pushed correct so that is where uh, you can streamline the process as well so then what kind of test should be automated then 
okay there are certain criteria whenever you have to take certain test cases to automation you have to consider these one is repeatable that must be one that can be repeated regularly okay for instance there is no point automating a test feature or a for feature that is about to be duplicated so first you have to consider that should be a repeated test case okay um for example regression testing you can consider uh, if you are working on a banking project here login is repeatable right repeatedly you have to login okay and then transfers you have to do payment you have to do all these are repeatable test cases or scenarios that you need to automate determinant there has to be clear right or and wrong outcome for the test in other words it must be easy for a computer to decide whether the test is failed or not this gives you a proper report correct so here it is clear that what is the outcome of the test repetitive or tedious as a rule humans are very poor at repetitive tasks our mind wander or we get distracted automation testing is particularly advantageous for any test that involves repeatedly doing the same action as it ensures consistent and accurate execution okay so when you have like repeated tasks like regression testing especially um, you might not uh you know the repeated testing would actually frustrate you correct so if you have the automation scripts so that will save lot of time as well as it can maintain the accuracy as well if there is any failure it will show that it is failed right so then you can go and then look at it business critical if a test is absolutely critical you should try your best to automate it and schedule it to run regularly that way you can be certain uh, you can be certain this test is always being carried out okay uh, in case of certain business critical uh, scenarios will be there okay, if you consider banking application transfers is very critical bill payment is very critical okay so all the critical functionalities whenever you have a new build at least at that time if it is working fine or not you will ensure correct so that is the reason uh, having the automated tests will help you in maintaining all the uh, difficulties you can basically overcome all the challenges that you had in the manual testing repetitive tasks at least the tds one uh, and then the business critical uh, test cases all this you can okay and you you also have to keep in mind that unit tests can be automated regression tests can be automated smoke tests can be automated okay certain test cases uh, and also performance test also can be automated uh, security all these can be automated uh, you you have to keep in mind that you should not automate exploratory testing and then you should not automate uh, vanity testing okay and then um certain testing you should not consider while automating okay if it is having color contrast so that those scenarios cannot be automated uh, it cannot identify the colors and all okay so that is the reason it is not good to automate certain such scenarios okay um so hope you have got what is automation testing and why it is needed and what are the benefits of autom having the automation scripts so hopefully you have learned something out of it if you have liked this video please do like it share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye